hello guys, at muling nagbabalik ang yung engineer, Benong. So we will be learning the third conic section. This time we have ellipse. So ellip ellipse is defined as the locus of points or collection of points which moves so that the sum of its distance from two fixed points is constant and is equal to the length of the major axis. So isa isa natin yung sinabi. Locus of point, it only means that it is collection of points. Then, kapag ellipse, sum, kasi meron pong conic section, difference naman po. Pero, dito muna tayo mag-focus ellipse. So, sum and major axis. Okay? So, observe nyo po yung figure para mas magets natin yung sinasabi doon sa ating definition. So, may dalawa ka ditong point, this point and this point. Okay? Yung tawag po sa mga points na yan ay foci or plural form lang po ng focus. At kung i-observe nyo, yung total length natin hindi nagbabago. Yung total length po natin ay yung haba lang ng blue line tsaka ng ating red line at a certain point. At kung nakikita nyo nga, constant lang po yung sum nung dalawang line segment na yun. Yun po yung sinasabi dong, the sum of its distance from two fixed point called foci is constant. Yung major axis, from the next slide nyo pa po malalaman. So, ganyan po ang ellipse. And remember guys, na ang circle ay nagmula lang po sa ellipse. Okay? Special case po ng ellipse, a circle. So, the general equation of ellipse is ax squared plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0. Tandaan nyo, plus or parehas positive po ang inyong a tsaka c. So, may dalawa po tayong senaryo kung paano natin i-drawing ang isang ellipse. Pwedeng pahiga, pwedeng patayo. Depende po sa inyong major axis. Ang major axis po ay ang principal axis ng ating ellipse. Remember from the previous videos, ang principal axis po ay isang line or line segment na dinadrawing which is passing through the focus and bisecting your conic section into two equal parts. Diba ang focus ng ating ellipse kapag nakahiga ay nandito sa horizontal na part? Okay? Yang line segment na to, yan po yung tinatawag nating major axis. At yan po ang principal axis ng inyong ellipse. Yun namang mas maikling line segment na hindi dumadaan sa axis, yun naman po ang tinatawag nating minor axis. So, itong buong habang to ay major axis at ang kalahati niyan ay tinatawag lang na semi-major axis. Kapag naman hinati mo yung minor axis, ang tawag dun ay semi-minor axis. Okay? So, paano mo malalaman kung ang major axis mo ay horizontal or pahiga or vertical o nakabangon? Okay? Kapag ang nasa ilalim po ng inyong x ay a, yun po ay horizontal. Kapag ang nasa ilalim naman po ng inyong x ay b, tulad dito sa equation na to, ang major axis mo naman ay patayo or nakavangun or vertical. So, mnemonics h higa v vangun. Okay? So, ang ginagawa ko para hindi ako malito, tinatandaan ko lang yung isa. For example, ang tatandaan ko lang ay kapag major axis ay horizontal, para Kapag pares kong sinaulo, hindi ako malilito or hindi magugulo yung pagkakafile sa utak ko kung alin yung tama. Again guys, ang center po niya ay nasa HK ha. So aralin po natin yung mga line segments ng ellipse at mga iba pang parts. So ang ellipse po, as you can see from here, may dalawa po tayong vertex, vertex 1 and vertex 2. May dalawa din tayong focus, focus 1 and focus 2. At meron po tayong center. So, tandaan nyo po. Meron po tayong tatlong parameters dito. Parameter A, B, tsaka C. Yung distance A po, okay? 2A muna tayo. Mula vertex 1 papuntang vertex 2, yun po yung haba ng inyong major axis. That is twice ng value ng A. So, kung hahatiin ko yun, so, di ba, mula dito hanggang dito lang yun, yun po yung distance A natin. Next thing naman, Mula B1 papuntang B2, yun naman po yung haba ng ating minor axis. At kapag hahatiin ko yun, distance B lang po. Mula center papunta doon sa isang coordinates na major axis. 
And then, mula naman sa center, papuntang focus, yun naman po yung distance C natin. Okay? Mula naman center, papuntang directrix, yun naman po yung distance D natin. Okay? So, ang latus rectum po ng ating ellipse ay hindi katulad sa latus rectum ng ating parabola na equal lang sa 4A. This time, ito po ay equal sa 2B squared over A o 2B2 wa. Okay? E, eccentricity, di ba? Ellipse, ellipse, less than 1. Always less than 1 ang makukuha mong value na eccentricity. That is C over A or ECA or A over D or AAD. So, yun yung mga mnemonics natin. And then, for the area, that's just pi AB. And remember, guys, from the drawing, talagang pinakamahaba po si A compared kay B at C. And this is the relationship between A, B, and C. A squared equals B squared plus C squared. You could also have the formula for ellip elli ellipse flatness, for the second flatness, and for the second eccentricity. And bibihira naman pong natatanong yan, pero still, um, please be familiarized, okay? Find the values of A, B, C, and E for the ellipse x squared over 25 plus y squared equals 16 equals 1. Find the values of A, B, and C, and E for the ellipse x squared over 25 plus y squared over 16 equals 1. Mula dun sa problem, binigyan tayo ng equation ng ating ellipse which is x squared over 25 plus y squared over 16 equals 1. Okay, tandaan nyo, between the values of A, B, and C, A is the largest or pinakamalaking value po yun. At kailangan nyong alam yung relationship na A squared equals B squared plus C squared. Ganyan po kapag ellipse. Huwag yung kakalimutan ha. Okay? So, di ba, sumusunod tayo dito sa format na X squared or simply X minus H squared over A squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. Okay? Malinaw na malinaw, a squared is equal to 25. So, a is just equal to 5. Ganun lang po. b squared is equal to 16. b is equal to 4. Okay? And then, kung gagamitin ko tong relationship na to, makukuha ko si c. So, a squared equals b squared plus c squared. So, 25 equals 16 plus c squared. c is 25 minus 16, that is 9. Square root of 9, that is 3. So, meron ka ng a, meron ka ng b, meron ka ng c, wala ka na lang, is eccentricity e. Eccentricity e is equal to c over a, so that is 3 over 5, or simply 0 0.6. So, the values of A, B, C, and E is simply 5, 4, 3, and 3 fifths. So, ganyan lang po ang kadali. Okay, mahalagang alam nyo yung mga standard equation kasi kung hindi nyo po alam, hindi nyo determine kung alin ang A, alin ang B, alin ang C, tsaka yung E. Okay, so ganyan lang po ang kadali. So, please copy. Find the equation of the ellipse whose foci are the point plus minus 2, 0, 2 and 0, and one of whose vertices is the point 3, 0. Find the equation of the ellipse whose foci are the points plus minus 2, 0, and one of whose vertices is the point 3, 0. Sabi sa atin sa problem, guys, meron daw tayong ellipse na ang foci ay nasa plus minus 2, 0, at ang isa daw vertex ay located at 3, 0. So, kuhain natin yung equation ng ellipse na yun. So, i-drawing natin para mas figure out nyo. Okay? 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Nasaan daw yung mga foci natin? 2, 0. So, ito yun. So, F1. And then, negative 2, 0. So, this is F2. Nasaan daw ang isang vertex? Nasa 3, 0. So, Yan. Tandaan nyo, symmetric ang ating ellipse. Anong ibig sabihin ng symmetric? 
kung ano yung nakikita mo dito, siya din dapat yung makita mo sa kabilang side. So, kung nakita nyo, mula focus papuntang vertex, that is just 1. Linear distance is 1. So, mula focus 2 papunta dito, this is your vertex 2. Location, negative 3, 0. Okay? So, pwede ko nang madrawing ang ating ellipse at some point. Pero, mamaya muna yun. Okay? Tandaan nyo, mula vertex 1 papuntang vertex 2, yan ay 2A. Mula focus 1 papuntang focus 2, yan ay 2C. Okay? So, it's a matter of counting or determining the linear distance. So, mula positive 3 papuntang negative 3, gano'n yung kahaba? Gano'n kahaba? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ah, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 2A is equal to 6. Okay? A is equal to 3. Next, mula focus 1 papuntang focus 2, diba? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? Parang number line lang. So, 2C is equal to 4. C is equal to 2. And then, A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared para makuha ko si B. So, that is 3 squared equals B squared plus C squared which is 4. Uh, 2 squared. So, 9 minus 4, that is 5. So, B squared is equal to 5. Hindi ko na extract yung B kasi kailangan natin mamaya ay B squared. And then, mula dito guys, makikita mo nasan yung center natin? Nasa origin lang po. Okay? Kung ayaw yung maniwalang nasa origin lang yan, kailangan mong makuha yung midpoint ng iyong mga vertices. So, para makuha yung midpoint, that is negative 3 plus 3 divided by 2, that is 0. And then K, that is 0 plus 0 divided by 2, that is 0. So, yung center natin, HK, ay nasaan? 0, 0. Or simply, your origin. Okay? And mag-figure out ko na ang itsuna ng, vertex, ng ating ellipse ay pahiga. Okay? So, ang equation niya ay x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. Ngayon, b squared, kaya hindi ko na po in-extract. Okay? a squared, may a squared na ba tayo? Wala pa. Pero madali na yun. x minus 0 squared. What is a? 3. 3 squared, 9. Plus, y minus 0 all over b squared, which is 5, equals 1. Okay? So, meron akong x squared over 9 plus y squared over 5 equals 1. And this is the equation of the ellipse given this uh, given this conditions. So, kung nakita nyo, nagdodrawing ako para mas madali kong madetermine yung parameters A, B, and C. Okay? So, please copy. The distance between the foci of the ellipse 6x squared plus 2y squared equals 12 is. The distance between the foci of the ellipse 6x squared plus 2y squared equals c is. We have been given this equation and we are asked to find the distance between the foci. Pag yung tinanong sa atin is distance between focus 1 to focus 2, ang nire-refer lang natin dun is twice nung parameter c. Okay? So, given 6x squared plus 2y squared equals 12, i-multiply ko po both sides ng 1 over 12. So, meron akong 6x squared over 12 plus 2y squared over 12 equals 1. Or simply, x squared over 12 divided by 6, which is 2, plus y squared over 12 divided by 2, which is 6, equals 1. Okay? Nakita? And then guys, paano mo malalaman kung sino si A at si B? Anong sabi ko sa previous videos ko? Si A is yung pinakamalaki. So probably, 
Ang equation natin na yan ay x squared over b squared plus y squared over a squared equals 1. At ang itsura ng ellipse natin ay patayo. Ganyan. So, a squared is equal to 6. a is equal to square root of 6. b squared is equal to 2. b is equal to 2. And then, kailangan ko lang hanapin or gamitin yung equation na a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So, a squared which is 6, b squared which is, sorry, this is square root of 2, b, b squared is 2 plus c squared. So, 6 minus 2 is 4, therefore, c is just 2. At yung pinapahanap sa ating distance ng focus, or focus 1 to focus 2, which is 2c, so 2c is equal to 2 times 2, that is equal to 4 units. So, ganun pong kalayo ang focus 1 to focus 2. Okay? So, please copy. What is the lattice rectum of the ellipse whose equation is 4x squared plus 25y squared minus 100 equals 0? What is the lattice rectum of the ellipse whose equation is 4x squared plus 25y squared minus 100 equals 0? Okay, based on the problem, you have been given this equation and you were asked to find the lattice rectum. Do not forget that the formula for the lattice rectum is 2b2y. 2b2y or 2b squared over a. Okay, so ilipat ko to sa standard equation. I multiply ko both sides ng 1 over 100. So, meron akong x squared over 25, kasi 100 divided by 4, plus y squared over 4, kasi 100 over 25 equals 1. Okay? Malinaw na malinaw that a is equal to, or a squared is equal to 25, therefore, a is equal to 5 b squared is equal to 4, b is equal to 2. And then using this equation, lattice rectum is 2b squared over a, so 2b squared which is 4, a which is 5. So 2 times 4, that is 8 divided by 5. So 8 over 5, yan na po ang ating length ng lattice rectum. Okay? So, please copy. The area of the ellipse x squared over 64 plus y squared over 16 equals 1 is the area of the ellipse x squared over 64 plus y squared equals 16 is So, given this equation, guys, of an ellipse, let us find the area of the ellipse defined by this equation. So, do not forget that the area for an ellipse is pi a b. Okay? So, dito, makikita ko, a squared is equal to 64. a is equal to 8. And then, b squared is equal to 16. b is equal to 4. Okay? So, that is equal to pi 8 times 4, that is equal to 32 square units. And that is the area of the ellipse defined by this equation. And check you guys. Diba, previously, sa mga videos ko, sinabi ko, circle is a special case of ellipse. Okay? Paano ang ellipse ay magiging circle? Mangyayari po yun if A is equal to B. Okay? Tignan nyo, ang area natin ay equal sa pi A B. If A is equal to B, di ba, magiging pi B squared. Okay? Or simply, this is the radius. Magiging pi R squared. Okay? Yan na po yun. Or simply, X squared over A squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. If a is equal to b, that is equal to radius. So, x squared over r squared plus y squared over r squared equals 1. 
Multiply ko both sides by r squared. Meron akong x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And di ba, ito po yung equation mo ng circle. Okay? Remember, a circle is a special case of ellipse and a sphere is a special case of ellipsoid. Okay? So, please copy it.